are better ways to keep cool. Call KS Services and receive a new Bryant unit with no payments and no interest for 18 months. Stay cool now and pay later. Visit callks.com for more. It's the Weather Extreme video. This is the morning edition. This is for Tuesday, the 10th of November. I'm James Spann. Got the chance of a few showers around here later today and tomorrow with a front. And then for the weekend, some chance of rain, but the amount of rain all depends on Ada in the Gulf of Mexico. And now we have Theta in the Atlantic. Ooh, a lot to talk about. Here we go. Got a big, big trough to the west. Very cold air out there. A ridge in the east that is very mild around here. So far this morning, no rain. That was the radar at 442. Temperatures in the 60s to start today. Highs mid to upper 70s again today. How about an ice storm warning for parts of Nebraska this morning? That sounds nasty. We've got uh, winter weather advisories on up into parts of Minnesota and Wisconsin. The southeast is pretty quiet. Chance of severe storms today on that front from uh, north of St. Louis up to near Milwaukee. Down here, there might be a rumble of thunder late today or tonight, but nothing severe. Same thing tomorrow. Maybe some isolated thunder, but mostly showers with the front. And then on Thursday, most of Alabama back into dry air. Precipitation for the next seven days. The biggest numbers back in the northern half of the Pacific coast. And the east is fairly wet. Alabama, the amounts one to two inches. Uh, maybe close to three inches for Huntsville. These numbers might be a little aggressive, but again, there's a lot of uncertainty here because of this thing. This is Tropical Storm Ada, top winds 50 miles an hour. And here's the new track from the Hurricane Center, slowly creeping northward as a tropical storm. It's expected to stay under hurricane strength, then weakens to a tropical depression near Pensacola Saturday night. But again, we caution you, there's still a lot of model madness, not quite as bad as yesterday, but you can see the spread. This is the uh, tropical model set. This is the European basically suggesting this thing dissipates in the Gulf before reaching the coast. That's a very plausible solution because of a lot of dry air that will be in the Gulf. It will be ingesting, and the cooler water and the stronger winds aloft, and again, that's a very distinct possibility. And the GFS is, uh, again, trying to suggest a west motion here. This is the intensity guidance. You can see the numbers are just coming on down with time. And we'll see if it survives. So we've got the new system, subtropical storm theta in the Atlantic. This was kind of a cold core system, and they've given it a name now. This is the 29th named system of the season. That is a record. We don't have a record for hurricanes, though, this year. A lot of the systems this year were junk storms that lasted for a day and in the middle of nowhere that would never get a name years ago. And, uh, hey, can we have Iota going on here in the Caribbean? Hurricane Center with a 60% chance of that wave near the Leeward Islands developing, but that seems to be headed towards Central America. So let's go through the GFS, the 06E run at 4 o'clock today. Negative tilt trough coming through the Midwest, ridging in the east. And again, moisture increases, a lot of clouds around today, maybe a few showers this afternoon. They'll be scattered. Decent part of the day will be dry. High mid to upper 70s. Tomorrow, the front approaching, and that will be a day with occasional showers. Cloudy, mild, will be in the mid to upper 70s again. And then Thursday, we are in dry air. Now, we stay in the 70s, but the dew points come way down. So the humidity noticeably lower. The sky becoming mostly sunny by afternoon. Friday should be a sunny day. We start the day in the upper 40s. The high will be in the low to mid 70s, a great fall day. And the GFS depicting Ada kind of fizzling in the Gulf. We'll go to Saturday. And again, now the GFS not very bullish on moisture return with Ada fizzling out. And again, it's kind of drifting Ada to the west. And remember, there's great uncertainty here. If you got something planned outdoors, it might not rain that much or it might rain part of the day. In fact, here's the European that's more aggressive on moisture return on Saturday. So for now, we'll mention a chance of showers Saturday. It's not going to rain all day and maybe not that much rain. The high in the 70s, and this is Sunday. And again, enough moisture for showers. Not a washout, the high in the 70s. This is Monday. A drier, cooler air mass arrives if this verifies. The GFS dropping the high in the low 60s here on Monday. It's a pretty cool air mass. And this is a week from today, Tuesday the 17th. Northwest flow aloft, cool, dry weather. 
We'll go out 10 days. This is Thursday of next week, the 19th. The zone will flow, and again, a dry air mass. Rain for Birmingham off the GFS Ensemble. The mean about one to one and a half inches for the next 15 days. And you can see the drop-off next week on the national blend of models with highs dropping in the 60s and lows in the 40s, which is seasonal. However, the CPC outlook for the 17th through the 23rd, showing temperatures here above average. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this morning. We'll have notes on the blog. The next video here by 4 o'clock this afternoon. You can catch us this evening on ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Thanks for watching. Have a great day and God bless. Never wait for hot water again with a tankless water heater from Plumbing Experts. Tankless water heaters are easy, convenient, and now more affordable with a no interest financing for up to 18 months. Stop with the cold showers and wasted water and call Plumbing Experts today.